Frances Elizabeth Caroline Willard was born on September 28, 1839 in Churchville, New York. Frances spent most of her childhood in Ohio. Frances was homeschooled by her mother up until she attended Milwaukee Female College for one term. In 1859, Frances graduated from Northwestern Female College in Evanston and started her teaching career. Around this time, Frances was engaged to Charles Henry Fowler she met in Evanston. They were only engaged for a short period of time. After the engagement ended, Frances remained single throughout the rest of her life. She took time to figure out what was really important to her. She thought about women's rights and what role she wanted to play in making a change for women. Frances taught at multiple different institutions during her time. In 1871, Frances became president over Evanston College for Ladies. Later, Evanston merged with Northwestern University, which Frances became the first dean over women's of women's college. About a year later, Frances resigned from dean due to conflict with the president of the college, which happened to be her ex-fiance, Charles Fowler. In 1875, Willard helped found the Women's Christian Temperance Union. She was elected the first secretary. In 1878, Frances won presidency of the Illinois branch of the organization. Christian Temperance Union was an organization abstaining from alcohol in order to stop violence and abuse that women and children were encountering in their homes. Frances spent a lot of time trying to help women live the life they wanted to live. She would travel across the world to speak to women about their futures and what plans she had for them. She wanted women to have the same equal rights that men had during that time. She felt like women were belittled and overlooked. Frances also fought for women's suffrage. She believed that women should have the same equal right to vote or run for office, not because they're a woman or not because they're looked at as being weak. They should have the same opportunities as men. Frances also fought for social purity rights. This protected younger women and girls sexually by raising age consent and establishing rape laws. Frances also endorsed women's right to become ministers and preachers. Frances had faith in women across the world, and she believed that we could do anything that we put our mind to. She took steps to make sure that we as women have endless opportunities that could take us far in life. Because of Frances, Women Christian Temperance Union became one of the largest organizations for women in the 19th century. She was involved with politics, created petitions, and was an advocate for change. If it wasn't for her and many other female activists, we wouldn't be where we are today.